friends, welcome back, and this is episode 2, part B. Um, I originally wanted to do this, well I wanted to do one, but I know I can talk. And the subject's got quite in depth, and Got it working again. <laughs> Fifteen a cab, you can expect one to you can you can expect ten percent of any box you got you can expect ten percent to ten, twenty percent to have some construction issues, but just one little plug and it's pretty fine. Um so back to what I was saying, yep, yeah, so we have a few subjects that I want to talk about. And what I'm gonna do, because two of them is gonna be really big. Yeah, big taboo subjects. So we're going to save that to the episode C, yeah, part C. Yeah, that's really why I've got to survive. So I can really grind to that one. <laughs> and uh, we're going to come on to two subjects. It's kind of changed up my uh, order of things now, but we're going to make this part B. And um, the first of those topics is Cuban versus New World construction. Now I'm going to be taking parts of the time because the one thing I hate is I see a vlog and the vlogger has a similar and the scar spends 90% of the time on the rest. <laughs> Doesn't that light? I light it about three, four times and uh, it just sits on the rest. And I personally don't have that budget to throw away cigars like that. So I might want to know the whole point of us being together is to uh, light one up. So, oh, I just felt that. I felt that. <laughs> that maybe that will go into what I'm saying now about construction. Now, I have to say, this is, so far, this is what, plugs. This is the only one I've ever had. I've had about 10 now of these in a space of like, I don't know, four months. And um, I've actually got, so the first review on these guys is on the blog and it is right off the truck. Like I literally got in, checked all 50, made sure no mold or anything. Um, Pull it back into the box, put it into its storage, and I took one out straight away and lit one up. Like, not even an hour, I'm just on about, let's say an hour, a couple hours, whatever, you know how I was playing uh, Cigar Tetris. <laughs> You've got so many boxes and things, you're trying to go left and right and put here or there and whatsoever. Um, and I lit one off the truck, and it was just, I never had one of these before. And um, one or two friends, they loved this, well, mainly one of them, shout out Cod. And um, <laughs> I won't say he's a winning name. <laughs> Wait, so for Paul uh, Ronaga, but um, he raves about these, and a couple people talk about these. And I was like, um, yeah, you know, it's a petty Corona, and let me, you know, let me give it a decent try. At least fifty hours of smoking here. Pittance of price. Let's let's be real. Pittance of, I mean, compared to boxes for 10, 25 and you know getting 50, 50 hours of smoking. I'm a slow smoker because so I get a good solid 50 hours plus. I'm raging. But talk oh peppery, earthy. Um took one out and yeah. Bang. It was banging straight away. That that caramel was coming into second third. That caramel flavours has uh, come off it was just really only a couple of tastes. You're really only supposed to get them about like three, five years on. This already is two years from box day. I think. I think it's from La Corona. R18. Nah. I'm not quite sure. I have to check for you guys, but I know it's definitely two years old. April, April, May, nine, twenty nineteen. So this is already two years old when I got it. Um, or it might even be March. I know when I got it, it was literally about two years old. So. This is, let's say, you know, it's about, I don't know, 26, 
26 to 28 months let's say um, so I'm not really expecting that kind of flavor but when I first got it out I was getting it straight away I was like oh wow getting crap on flavors um, earth a bit pepper a bit spice this is, this is kind of milder than my normal ones you know it's calming down already which is quite surprising retro is just super smooth this is I have to say this is the first one just has to be when it's on camera isn't it it's the first one is actually quite tight the draw is very very firm I don't think Usman would even like this one it's that firm there you go the ash sometimes you have to ash ash it and it will come let's do a quick quick little pump up as, up to the flame Yeah, so I always gauge it by that flame. See, this when it pops up. Right, I always gauge, just in my opinion, this is how I do things. I always gauge the draw from the way it combusts with that flame. If the natural flame after it combusts is just a little, it draws quite. If it, boom, really explodes that it just did, it's fine, might have a tight area somewhere, but it's. It's going through, yeah. And the uh, air and oxygen is going through this accord quite well. So, construction now, the consensus in the cigar community is that Cuban have the worst quality control and construction there is seen to map. And New World cigars, so, majority mainly, we're talking about. It's burning a bit hot this one actually. Come to think about this. Oh, excuse me. Well, it was. It was as I say that it's cooled down. How about that? How about that? No, it's working my favour. It was initially just a little bit hot there, but now maybe because I put it outside now, it's just yeah, it's about there. That's the heat getting from there. So we still got a good way to the band. So it's, it's actually burning quite fine. Burn line is corrected. Obviously, I had to thing it, but it's corrected. Just just a little nick. But let's talk about it. This is perfect. We'll start with the Bolaranaga. So the construction there, just a little nick, just a little nick. But there you go. It's focusing. It's generally pretty well. The wrapper. It's phenomenal. Look at that wrapper. Well, Colorado. Colorado chocolate that is milk chocolate wrapper that is clean clean look at the seam on that and if i'll pick it up oh my let's go a little bit back because i really like it. come on pick up it's not going to pick it up but there's just a bit of my thumb in uh, i'm sorry my middle finger no i'm not swearing at you guys the, the, the seam is so it's tidy, very tidy, and triple cap. I don't know if it's going to show in the video card. But you obviously, know, I don't know it's true, true, but you know, it's very tight in a good way, in a good way. And very clean. It has veins. It's a, a little bit rustic, but it's very clean and tidy. These these wrappers are they they uh, these were like Maduro wrappers. For the PLPCs, that one I used to see a lot of PLPCs. The wrappers are really light. These are 1920 boxes, especially the 20s plus it's 21. Seriously, dot honestly, Habanos. I'm telling you, COVID works. The world works in mysterious ways, right? And COVID has been an amazing blessing. In some way, shape, or form, on the cigar industry, it's put loads more people back into love of their hobbies. It's bring new people in. It's bring a whole new wave of youth. Now, I'm, I'm a quite young person, but the youth I'm talking about is like a decade younger than me, and you'd be surprised how how good I look. <laughs> but it's bring a lot of good things, and I found with Habanos that. 
because of the lockdowns and all that was going on last year, the rollers had so much more time, precision, to really roll fantastic cigars, fantastic cigars. Uh, and, and this is going to sound funny, right? But I, in comparison to New World cigars, right? That I've had over the last 12 months It's been non-incomparable when it comes to quality control Non-incomparable Yeah Yes, I've had a few pluggers And whatnot, I've had to plug This one was a bit tight So a couple plugs, smoking fine, it's burning yeah, it doesn't fully corrected that part, but you know, it's, it's alright, it's not affecting it majorly. But, when it comes to new world construction, compared to what I've had of Cuban, especially this year and then the last seven, eight months, not comparable. Not comparable at all. Now, many people will say that new world, flame will burn off them, I can do, that new world. Is the epitome of quality control and construction and yes yeah there, there to, to a point yes there, there is like let's be real and get some facts right here the new world factories have the budgetary means they have the facilities they can age their cigars a lot longer tobacco has been aging there for about 10 years cuba doesn't live in the same uh, state rules necessarily don't have the same, without saying too political here, they don't have the same lifestyle and way of doing things that all these other countries in the new world have. They don't have their particular freedoms. What you've got to understand is, yes, the companies are, are owned um, by each company, etc. But they're owned by Habanos SA and Habanos SA is owned by the state. It's stately run. Now, when you get new world cigars, let's say the big brands, Arturo Frente, David Ofo, it's going a bit light now. I say this in cute and Cuban. It wants to fail me now, don't it? It wants to fail me. <laughs> it wants to show me up. <sighs> Honestly, guys, this is the first I've ever, this is the first PLPC I've ever had. I dry boxed this yesterday as well. Dry boxed it yesterday. That's the first PLPC I've had that is, that's just showing a bit of poor quality. Just as I as I want to make the point, and I know, yeah, some of you are going to be jumping on the higher of the chairs and singing and bring your pitchforks that I'm talking about, New World and X, Y, Z and blah, 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 blah. But I'm, I'm telling you, Cuba has been phenomenal this year, in the last two years. The quality rappers. Um, and construction, yeah, and you're gonna get poor batches everywhere. Like, <laughs> you gotta remember, right, when they do cigars, when you get that 50 box, 25, 10 semi watts, slide box, whatever it is, when you get that box, not every single cigar in that box has been rolled by the same roller. Ten different rollers might have rolled every single cigar in that box. Yeah, it's up to the sorter after who has all the cigars lined up. They sort it out by the colour of the wrapper. Yeah, they do it by shade. So if these ones, that's why all the pet coronas in my world pretty much they all came. This Colorado color, yeah, they all came. That Colorado color, uh, color, they all came like that. All of them, some a little bit darker, touch light, but generally all of them came like that because the sorter gets all of the cigars that look similar in quality, in uh, necessary shape, in size, and uh, color wrapper. And then they put them all into that box because you don't want to open a box and you see half like this, half come like Candelas, half come like Connecticut's. <laughs> you don't want to see that. It doesn't look appealing to the eye when you're trying to sell it as a vendor or as a distributor, etc. 
so that's how it works so from when that's how it works you need to be patient especially with habanos cigars in that you're gonna get like what i'm having i'm not having a nightmare but a little noise is here and there you got like i said you need to you need to counter 10 to 20 percent of that box maybe plugged or had some burn issues or etc they're not all consistently done by the same person what we as cigarians hope it is quite tight it's just it's always at this end it's getting soft but it's just not drawing quite well um is that we just hope to get consistency across the board of that box that's what we we want that's what we pay for we hope and love and we get it but you have to be realistic when you buy these things they are man made now i know in new worlds some new worlds are not t totally handmade um i can't quite remember the machine they use but there's part where it's three quarters of it is handmade and then they use a, um, a machine to sort of um, help with the rolling cuba i know is 100 percent handmade 100 percent, and that is why you have more irregularities within the quality control because it's 100 percent handmade uh, the world is always on cuba cigars they don't have the facilities to you know for that plug right there to bring them out <sighs> days I say this in Cuba lets me down right now imagine imagine <laughs> to keep their consistencies up they just don't have the means where these new worlds that are owned by independent families and such they have the facilities they have the finances to age these cigars you have these rollers you know consistently put them out which is why you always have a lot of these new worlds always like big air tunnels wind tunnels um which is a lot of that i've had and what i'm saying what i'm trying to get at this point i'm trying to get my rant here is that bearing this barring this one which is having a shocker and i'm due one like i said i've had about 10 of these um honestly i've, I've not had to retouch or relight any of these any of the 10 that i've had or eight to ten that i've had Generally happen like I'm not even lying with that one. So you have to put that extra effort. You see, you have to put that extra effort to get that flame. So there's a bit of a plug in there, but I, I don't really want to rug it anymore. So I'm gonna leave it. Um. So yeah, we need to remember that they have the facility and the means to do these things. Whereas Cuba don't necessarily have they don't have that facility to do those things so there's going to be a bit more great inconsistency now what i want to talk about is with the new world i expect perfection with new world cigars i expect perfection because they berate so much about cubans they go on and on about cubans and the construction is poor you know the quality control is not very good blah 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 now most of them most 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 uh, new ones that I've had generally burn of my scoring burn and construction has been good generally has been top notch however I have had a significant amount significant amount of new ones I smoke it I look at it and I'm seeing the underground. I'm seeing the tunnel of the underground in it. If you're from the UK, you'll know what I mean. If not, uh, think of the metro subway in your country. That tunnel and the train coming through, I'm seeing tiny, tiny golf ball. <laughs> like one eighteenth of a golf ball in the cigar. And you will see in, in the blog a lot of reviews. In fact, there's some. <laughs> I've had so many bad ones where I couldn't even smoke the cigar. I'm going to show you what I smoked recently. Some of you are going to foam at the mouth right now. Yeah, you know that one? Yeah. It's not great. This was the Gran Toro. Couldn't finish this. 
um, had the robusto of that, wasn't relighting. Rodded it, wasn't relighting. Tunnels, you name the lot. <laughs> There's so many I've had of new ones of cars where the construction has been abysmal, absolutely abysmal. Wind tunnels, um, just poor, poor construction with the packed one side of the filler and it's burning very fast, burning very, very hot. I find as well with new ones you get a lot of tar build up, taste that comes, always kicks you out. Um, I've had a few cigars you were reading the blog as well where I'm getting this horrible like taste stuck to the roof of my mouth or the back of my throat and I just can't get rid of it. Can't get rid of it. I've cleansed my cleanse it so many times with the water. Doesn't work. And you don't get that. I don't ever get that with Cubans. I mean very, very rare I get that few for do maybe a few puffs and it goes. Cleanse that palette, water, and it goes. With new worlds I'm finding it at least more than half, at least a good third of them that I'm having with all these issues. And it's also going to do that to make sure that that's just lighting. There you go, you've got enough, enough to keep puffing this one, I can tell. And um, it's very disappointing because you these companies berate about quality and attention and care and X Y Z, and I'm not saying everyone's going to be perfect. Of course, I'm going to get you're going to get bad batches, but you expect a lot better. Like the Alec Bradley is a perfect example I just showed you. I got I had the Prensado, so I've got the Lost Art Torpedo, which will be reviewing much later in the year. Now I'm not really fussed now. I just smoked that one night yesterday, day before. Poor. Smoked the uh, Robusto a couple months ago. <sighs> Shocking. Couldn't we? Uh, I don't even have a review for it. Got to about the first, the second, third. It just multiple problems. I couldn't. I couldn't get to the end because it was. It wasn't. It wasn't even light enough to smoke. Had to bin it. And um, you know, <laughs> that's the same line. The same line in two Vitolas and still the same pour. I mean, that's. That is not acceptable. That is not acceptable for a company that repeatedly goes on about its quality and assurance and quality control and construction. And it was abysmal. So I want to sort of debunk that whole ideal, ideology that new world cigars are so superior than Cubans when it comes to construction and quality control because I have had a year of shockers. I've had a year of shockers and I'm not the only one. I spoke with friends as well. Um, many of a lot of brands, a lot of high brands, and you'll see a lot of reviewers. I'm not trying to call out people like Davidoff and all these ones and so forth, but they've been poor. They've been poor. And Davidoff is known for wind tunnels and for um, underpacked, underfilled, where one side just isn't filling and it's burning all over the place. I've had a uh, <laughs> Two, two late hour busters now I've had in the past 12 months, nearly a year apart, same thing, poorly, poorly done, um, you know, th these are things that, these are things where it's not down to storage conditions, and you've got, this is another thing guys, I'm not having issues with storage conditions, because I'm smoking other cigars, new worlds, I have all my new worlds today, I've split Dominican, Honduran and uh, Nicaragua, where I've gone from one, This one is just, yeah, I need to really rub this one, it's just not, it's not getting much raw. Um, I've gone from one to the other the next day, because obviously the first one was just abysmal. Oh, yeah. Look at that, look at that. <sighs> Apologies to my Cuban fanboys and friends. Yeah, I, I was due one. I was, like I said, I've had about ten, not one issue. I was G1, I was G1, that should, that should really help it. Don't know if it's really picking up. Very, very, very thin viscosity with this. Very thin viscosity. Pepper, bit of salt. Very earthy, this one. This is actually, if I'm honest, I've got to say, this is 
kind of porous when I've had flavor wise. It's just the earth, all the early flavors that I started at the beginning, just dis dissipated. Do another quick flash round in. Um, yeah, so guys, I just want to just want you to oh, look another one. Oh, it's really this one really was overpacked. Um, barring this one, take this one out of the review. Yeah, take this one out. <laughs> yeah, I just want people to really understand that. New World Cigars, in my opinion, in my opinion at least, have not been the best as what they can be, as what they profess and say they're going to be. They're just, they're just not always up to scratch, unfortunately. Um, and that is what well, I'm going to close that part over.